Hey friends, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to turn your washable markers into liquid watercolor paint. So the first thing you're going to need are washable markers. Make sure you, I have Crayola brand. If you have a different brand, that's totally fine. Make sure they are washable. That means they'll react with water. Um, my drawing, which I have here, this is what I'm gonna paint. You can do this too. You can do a drawing of anything you want. And I have done my drawing in Sharpie, which is permanent marker. The difference between these two markers is that if I add water to this drawing, my black lines are gonna stay there, nice and crisp, just as they are. If you use a washable marker on your page and then add water to it, your lines might begin to blur. So, I did this beforehand. This is my little flower-ish mandala with a Sharpie. I'm just gonna put this aside for now because our focus for today is turning these into paint. Now the way you do that, of course, you need your washable markers, any and as many colors as you have. You're gonna need a small piece of tin foil or wax paper, something that won't absorb the ink from your markers. Then of course you need a brush. You could even use a Q-tip if you want, or your fingers, why not, you know? Then you're gonna need a little bit of water in a cup nearby. Mine's off screen, just like that. Okay, so I have my, my image ready, I have my tin foil and my markers. Let's get started. You are going to choose any colors you want. I'll do a bit of the rainbow here, right? And you're gonna make little circles. Now, you're gonna notice the ink does not absorb. It kind of dances around the page. It won't stay there because your tin foil is not absorbing the ink from your marker like a piece of paper would. So I'm just gonna add a few colors. Maybe I'll go back and add some purple over here, kind of like the rainbow, why not? Now you're always gonna keep adding to this as you go. So don't expect a lot of color to show up at first. You have to sort of refill your paint as you go. Add a little orange and of course some red. Awesome sauce. Now, to activate your paint, all you do is take your brush, dip it in the water, and paint. Now, I realize that this brush is actually kind of huge for this Piece. So I'm gonna grab a different one. This one's much better, oh yeah. So what you're gonna do is tap your water like this, I'll show you. Tap, tap, just a bit. Wipe the little excess of water off. You don't want it to be too drippy. Choose any color you want. I guess maybe I'll start with red. And watch what happens as we add our water. See that tiny puddle forming? It's very light, it's not a lot. And the more water you add, the lighter your color will be. So you kind of have to be careful with it. So it's a very small amount of paint, but this is a small drawing, so I don't need too much. And I'm just gonna paint right along the inside. You don't need much. A little bit goes a long way. Now I'm almost done with my painting, but I wanted to say something about blending colors. I think this spot right here could use a nice deep orange. So what I'm gonna do is add some red here and a little bit of yellow next door. And we can go ahead and blend these together. Notice I did not put my markers right on top of each other because that might have stained my yellow or my red. I don't wanna do that. But you can mix on your palette. That's what this little paint piece is here. I know it's a piece of tin foil, but you can get fancy and call it a palette. I'm going to dip a little bit of red first and then add it to my orange. Oh, excuse me, my yellow to get orange and there it is it's gonna be a little bit more of a red orange because I added a lot of red so let's see how it looks lovely kind of reminds me of a 
beautiful fire where I might roast some marshmallows. Now you're gonna notice I am just about done with this little pile here. I ran out. So let's talk about how you can add more. What I'm gonna do is pause, erase this little spot here with a paper towel, grab a little bit more marker color, and there you go. Now, say I knew that I was gonna need a lot more of this, you could always make a few little piles of marker ink color. That way you don't have to keep starting and stopping. There we go, but I think we're gonna be okay with just this little bit, but now it might not be as exact. It's kind of a fun experiment when you're mixing colors together. But I got pretty close, not bad, not bad. And remember, if you're not using watercolor paper, this is not real watercolor paper, this is drawing paper, make sure you don't put too, too, too much water in there because you don't want your paper to rip. All right, last little spot. Go. What do we think? Not bad. Should I finish that last layer off? I'll go for it. And I am all done. Now to clean up your little palette here, all you do is take a piece of paper towel and wipe, 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 and you could actually totally reuse this piece, right? Nothing wrong with it. It's clean, clean, clean. Cool beans. And that, my friends, is how you use washable markers to make your very own liquid watercolors. Can't wait to see the different colors and creations you make.